Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Erica with you and uh, I mean obviously this is my channel but um, today I am hopping along with Alex Iberia and uh, some friends and we are going to be showing off the gorgeous October release called You Are Loved. So this is the watercolor flower stamp set. It's beautiful. It's got solid images. It also has some outlines. It has some leaves and it has the stamens. And I'm going to be using the absolutely brilliant stamp wheel from uh, New for my stamping. And you will see the reason why um, in a little bit. So, um, will you? No, I probably don't show it in this video, actually. I think I jumped ahead a little bit that. But um, it is brilliant and it's so, so good. I am uh, loving uh, the stamp wheel. So what we're going to do first, we're going to pop a piece of cardstock down onto the sticky mat. And then we're going to take all of these beautiful solid, we're going to use the solid images um, today. And uh, we're going to place them all in the middle uh, into like a bit of a cluster of uh, a bouquet almost. So um, at first I thought I'm just going to use four. But then I thought, you know what, we're going to go a bit wild and crazy here. We're going to use all five of the flowers because why not? <laughs> I have no other reason than why not. So uh, we're going to arrange these uh, on to our card base. Uh, if you want less white space in between the flowers, you might want to stamp them separately. But I decided I'm going to just do them all uh, in one go. And then I'm going to show you a couple of little tips and tricks on how to just get a little bit more kind of detail and depth to your flowers. So first off, I'm going to stamp all of these in a reasonably even layer with Aqua Sky from Concord and Ninth. It is this beautiful Aqua Sky color, <laughs> almost like sea glass. I know there is another, uh, there is an ink color actually called sea glass, but I have found a lot of sea glass in this actual color. So I, I love this color. It's just beautiful. So first you can see here, we're gonna um, leave these as they are. They're not perfectly stamped, but that's okay. And then we're gonna take Oceanside um, and we are going to grab a itty bitty little blender brush. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to add color to the brush and then we're going to tap this around the edges of the flowers to kind of add a little bit more interest and some you know depth and detail. So we're gonna speed this up a little bit. Now, I will mention later on in the video that I kind of learned a little bit of a tip and a trick with uh, this as well. And I, I thought at first, you know what? I'm just gonna add um, the this darker ink to all of the flowers and then stamp that all in one go. But I ended up having to do this a second time with this color because it just it kind of like, not faded, but it just kind of, yeah, it, it wasn't as, deep and as sort of opaque as I wanted it. So I ended up having to do it twice. So with my second card, because I did do two, <laughs> um, I uh, actually tried it the other way around. So I stamped it the, the ink color first, and then with the detail ink, I went in and did like one or two, and then stamped that, and then added uh, one or two more. So I think that was probably the better way of doing it. But here, I mean, I could have done another a layer or even gone for an even darker color like peacock for instance you know for like really dramatic detail that i mean the choice is up to you i i really love that this sort of shade of uh, teal that they have so i thought you know what i'm i don't want to overdo it too much but i wanted a little bit more detail it felt like it needed just a little bit more here so we're gonna add a little bit more and um, now while I'm doing all that, I'll just go through some of the details for like the giveaway. So obviously it's a hop, it's a new release hop. So there is uh, another person next uh, after me and uh, I will link all of these down in the description box down below. So the next person to find on the list will be super, super easy. And then if you uh, hop along with us and uh, leave comments on all of these uh, videos, you will be in with a chance to win one of five 15 pound gift cards. So there's five of them up for grabs. So you're lots like the altar in your favor. So don't forget to do that. And then you will actually have um, uh, onto the 22nd of October to leave comments. And then the winners will be announced on the Alex Iberia design blog, which is they have like a get winner giveaway page on October 23rd. So make sure you earmark that page and check it out. Now here in the video, I have already moved on to my second um, flower. So I used lilac and fig for this one. 
and I will say though that I mean obviously the fig is probably a little bit more juicy and a little bit more vibrant than the ocean side compared to the aqua sky so here I got some really dramatic and lovely results oh yes so um but you'll see here I did just two flowers to kind of you know really get that ink on there because um I felt like that that was just working so much better but then I realized as well whilst I had just a little bit of extra ink on that I I went over the kind of edges a little bit again to get a little bit of a sort of um more of like a, a live petal feel so I will show you close-ups later on it, it turned out really really cool so again the reason why I'm using a a blender brush to add the detail is so that I won't get those like harsh straight lines on the flowers because we want them to look soft and pretty so this is a, a great tip to uh, to add details um, to your flowers so if you have like me like a little bit of ink on your uh, ink lid so maybe you want to add that first and then you go to the ink pad to add that sort of uh, darker color I, I feel like that will probably work really really well as well but so th this are um this this are <laughs> Uh, I have got my uh, two panels uh, ready so what we're going to do now is we're going to take all of the solid leaf images and we're going to add them to where we basically can make room so this is what I meant with if you want to have less white space around your flowers when you stamp them you might want to do like one or two at a time rather than try to squeeze in all five because I do think that you can probably save quite a lot of white space there if but if that doesn't bother you no need to worry about it. So here we are going to use one of my favorite colors for oh, color combinations for uh, leaves, which is sprout and parsley. And it can kind of look a little bit spring like because there's a bit of a yellowy undertone to the sprout. But I just think it looks fantastic, to be honest. And uh, again, we're doing the same thing here. We're doing uh, sprout first all over and then we're going to add uh, details with the parsley and I feel like it's just enough to kind of give those leaves a little bit of extra interest so here now we're going to pop in our second card base and so you might wonder like oh but how do you know exactly where to put them so I have actually kept the grid that comes with the sticky mat and I popped this at the bottom of my stamp wheel I haven't glued it down or anything I didn't want to make anything too permanent just yet but um I just feel like that would be a really really great way of um just you know keeping track of everything and then I did see someone who had she did either kept the grid or she made like an, an her own grid so that you can always see like where your card is going to go so there's a couple of ways of kind of, you know, making sure that you always get your card in the right place. And Altenew actually do also sell, I think, like little lineup uh, grid things, tools. So, you know, lots of, lots of options of making sure that you get everything right. But here, um, we're just going to finish off the last little bits of our leaves. So on the second card... So, oh, so you might notice as well that I did have to take the stamp leaves off and then move them around. So, because obviously they're not all in the same place. So, easy peasy, just rinse them off. Uh, I always have a little bit of water in a repurposed shampoo bottle. So, I just spritz, 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 and then I wipe them off. And then I remove uh, or replace my stamps where I want them to go. So, I... I must say that, you know, when I first saw the stamp wheel, I was like, hmm, can they must have really be improved upon? But I really think they have. There's been so much great, like, attention to detail and really thinking like a crafter would to make this tool. So it's absolutely brilliant. So we're going to do the last little bit of stamping here. And it's just the little middle bits, the stamens of the flowers. And uh, this will be super easy because all the flowers are in the same space. So... We're going to use um, Buttercup from also Concord and I. So all of the inks that I used for today's card are all from Concord and I. And uh, I will list them down below as well, just in case um, you kind of sped this whole thing up or missed any details of my jibber jabbering. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we're just going to do stampily, stampily, stamp, stamp, stamp here. Now, I, I will say, though, that some of these middle bits, I, I feel like maybe aren't like the best that I feel like one of the biggest ones um 
would probably look better because it will cover more yellow obviously or cover more space so maybe next time when I make one of these cars I would either kind of slightly shift them or add another color to kind of do like a two-tone um, on the inside but here are the two card bases and then we are going to just add a super simple sentiment so this is the large smile also from this release I really 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 love world die cuts and I love stacking them so and I extra love it when they fit into this little Hero Arts compact cutter because it's so handy it's so small it's so cute and you just have two plates you put your paper on there you put your die cut on and it cuts perfect every single time it is such a handy little tool to have so with this one uh, I'm trying to use up as many of my scraps as I can because you know why would you cut up a whole new piece of cardstock if you don't need to so um, that's what I did and uh, then we're gonna lay these up with uh, some liquid glue and uh, my current favorite is the Barely Arts um, Precision Glue and uh, I feel like it's just so so easy to work with it's like the perfect kind of level of liquidity um, to make things super easy to line things up it dries quickly and yeah I'm, I'm a big fan big fan actually and uh, we're gonna uh, add these directly onto the cards in slightly different places and then we're gonna add a little bit of bling -ling because it's me, I, I can't not do that, so. Hmm. But I thought I'm gonna move away a little bit from my usual kind of clear sequins or, you know, like gold drops. So we're gonna use these uh, glitter drops from Pinkfresh Studios. And these ones for the purple card, I'm gonna use some amethyst ones. I was thinking that maybe I'll use those like goldy ones, but I, for some reason, decided that that white space needed to be, uh, it needed to have more color. So I went for amethyst uh, glitter drops for the purple card. And then for our uh, teal card, I decided to go for um, glitter drops in aqua. So these are oh, so pretty. And they're not just kind of like round drops. They have like little facets to them as well. So they just, just look so, 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 so pretty. But like with the placement with the smile, I am, I think, a little bit more drawn to the purple one where it's higher up on the card. But I thought, you know what, we're just going to try a couple of different placements just to see like what works out and what doesn't. So, you know, I hopefully have learned a little something in this video and maybe you did too. But you never know. So anyway, uh, we're just going to finish off these by adding the sequence. Although, sorry not the sequence, the, the bling -a -ling, -a ling to the card with a um, jewel picker and more Brandly Arts glue. And then we're just gonna have a quick a little final look at these cards uh, before I let you go. So as I mentioned, the next stop in the hop will be right at the top of the description box. I will link everything that I've used down below in the description box as well. And uh, there's also a blog hop um, where you can win even more prizes. So make sure you check that out as well. And uh, that is it from me for today. I really, really hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. And I will see you very soon again. Bye for now.